this narrative about Republicans being racist and cannot stand Mexican people and black people and women is ridiculous. This is Martin Luther King on steroids. This idiotic guy was on stage with Candace Owens a few days ago and asked her, what America are we going back to to make America great again? The one where women couldn't vote or black people were swinging from trees? I would say to him if I was standing in front of him, I absolutely want to go back to the America where women couldn't vote. I told that, I told that, I told that to Mark. There are some people that were talking about reparations in this country. They wanted reparations. And I remember I made this particular liberal so angry at me because I told them right to their face, nobody owes you anything for slavery. If you want to tell the truth about it, it is you who owes. I said, I think you're better than Martin Luther King. I think you are Martin Luther King times two. Fascinating. Put him up full of mass. Hell of a story here. It gets even more insane. Mark Robinson, GOP nominee. He won. He is the Republican nominee for governor in North Carolina. He's already lieutenant governor, North Carolina. He has now declared Planned Parenthood, Reverend Al Sharpton, and Men with saggy pants, people who tore down Confederate flags and monuments. He says those individuals, all of them mentioned, are worse than the KKK, the Ku Klux Clowns. He did this on a social media post. Um, it has drawn some attention. So in 2014, if you remember, Robinson wrote on Facebook that. Quote, an ignorant man with a sheet over his face in the country and an ignorant man with pants hanging off his behind in the city are two sides of the same worthless wooden nickel, end quote. I'm adding a hashtag that suggested he was talking about people of different races, um, uh, ignorance knows not color, end quote. In 2016, he likened certain black people to those enslaved on plantations. Quote, a plantation minded Negro hates a free thinking black person worse than any Klansman ever could or ever will. Put him up full mass again. Damn, brother, you good. Now, I know you had gaslighting, sir, but the level of gaslighting you're able to bring to the table, uh, I, you know, I disagree with your work, but these folks are believing what you're saying. They're picking up what you're putting down. Now, remember, he says that a man sagging his pants is the same as a KKK member. Uh, one really has no political or ideological intent. The other one does. Um, so there's no comparison. The next year, he wrote that he considered, now he has some fascination with the KKK. He considered the KKK less reprehensible than black gang murderers. You know, the KKK are white gang murderers. So if, if you don't like gangs and killers, you should have disdain equally for those who engage in that kind of activity, I would imagine. Um, but I assume their whiteness and their nice little outfits make it better for you. There's more. All right. Um, also, he threw in Planned Parenthood, a health nonprofit whose services include abortions. Uh, the KKK never claimed to love black folks, quote, never claimed to love black folks like many of the uh, murderers in Chicago probably probably do. And the KKK never tried to eradicate the black race like Planned Parenthood is, end quote. Uh, so he said this, putting the KKK third in his ranking of, quote, most evil. Other posts took similar aim at Planned Parenthood or, as he called it, Clan Parenthood, but the Klan is number three, however, in his list of most evil. But he uses the Klan as number one to explain Planned Parenthood at number one. Follow the logic if you can. Um, another post featured a, a photo of Reverend Al Sharpton. 
Okay, civil rights leader. Next to a picture of a Klan member. Once again, we're back to the Klan. And he writes, twins, exclamation point. Uh, Robinson has criticized the civil rights movement of the 1960s and attacked prominent black people in harsh and offensive terms, calling Michelle Obama, for instance, a man and an angry anti-American communist black lady who speaks ghetto and wookie. Um, Robinson made KKK comparisons in more than a dozen Facebook posts over multiple years. Some of them refer to black people. In 2015, Robinson addressed a Facebook post to quote, all those black folks running around attacking people for carrying flags and ripping flags off houses and trucks and all the people on social media who applaud their foolishness, end quote. An apparent reference to Confederate flags, by the way. He called them as ignorant as any Klansmen, adding the hashtag counterproductive, ape-like behavior, ape-like behavior. Put his picture up again. You see, you're looking at a man who would have made a fine slave. He would have been slave number one, ready to go. As a matter of fact, he's basically a slave now. And he gets upset when others have a difference of opinion with him. And all of a sudden, he says, no, 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 you're the one on the plantation. All right, this guy is, uh, Ricky, this guy is a winner in the GOP sense. He's a lieutenant governor. He won the GOP primary for a governor, uh, and he's backed by Trump. What say you? Yeah, uh, a, a real big, um, a great example of self hatred. Yeah, uh, everybody have uh, uh, everybody knows somebody like him. Uh, he's a great, uh, a great value killer, Mike. Uh, you know, up there talking like that and talking about our beloved First Lady Michelle Obama, uh, yeah. saying things like that, talking about your own race and your own. Culture in front of uh, uh, and a clan rally, basically, uh, yes. you know, because because with all of the racism that's going on with the Republican Party and the Trump campaign or whatever, and then he gets pushed all the way up to be the GOP uh, nominee, which I, I hope and pray that that's why we have to really, really get out and vote. No, you know, just like they did when uh, Herschel Walker was running against yes. Raphael Warnock or whatever, because he is paid for, he is owned. Uh, and and he is uh, trained to mm-hmm. do what they want him to do because ain't no way in the hell he would become the Republican GOP uh, nominee. Uh, you know if he didn't do what they said do, and it's sad and it's embarrassing. And uh, but but you have people like that, and it's it's really sad. Yeah, and uh, he knows exactly what makes him popular, and so he's going to continue this blueprint of trying to be an apologist for the KKK. Ironically. All I know right. White women, I know he. I know the white women love him. I, I bet he. I, <laughs> listen, he was I'm at just, an all female event uh, for Republican I, women when he said that he does want to go back to the days when women could not vote. Ain't that something? Wow. All right, we'll bring you updates as they come.